my god! Oh my god! This this has been one of the first games. The England game is tomorrow, and I just had I had had to do it. I had to watch the game. France, France, bottle jobs. Mbappe. I'm sorry. I got call. I got to call him a bottle job. Got to call him a bottle job. I've just finished watching the penalty shootout. Everyone gets a penalty. Former Arsenal player Olivier Giroud scores his penalty. Um, Xhaka, I don't believe, even took a penalty. But the one guy you thought would take the penalty and score it for France, Kilia Mbappe, miss, well, not even misses, saves. Like, he didn't look confident. He didn't look confident in the game. And you see him right now walking down to the tunnel, not even going to congratulate the Swiss players uh, on a good game, but he's going there. Just, just oh, it's it's just, it's just, oh, it's awful. Absolutely awful. Do you know what this means? Do you know, oh, I, I got turned for him now. Do you know what this means for Arsenal? This is bad, bad news for Arsenal. Because everyone that wanted Granite Xhaka gone, like myself, he is still in this competition, meaning that his transfer to Roma is not going to go through yet. I can't believe it. I I, I see it and I cannot believe it. it it's Switzerland have gone through to the next stage. And they keep showing showing this like Mbappe did not look confident. I said this guy did did not look confident. And it's so obvious. He didn't even get a proper run up. I don't even know what to say. Well done for the Swiss side for doing well. Mbappe all the contra well, I won't call it controversy, but a little arguments that he was having with, with Giroud. You could tell out of all the out of all the players that, that played today, he was probably the worst one. You got Granite Xhaka with that stupid blonde um uh hairstyle that he's got on TV right now, loving it. And you gotta understand why he's loving it. You know, potentially he could go on to, to win the Euros. Uh, <laughs> which is unlikely because they have Spain next to. I don't think that they'll get past. But for Arsenal, we got to wait. We got to wait for this Granit Xhaka um, deal to kind of go through. It means that a lot of our transfer business is going to be delayed at least for a little while. But today is Monday. So you could believe that probably, what, Saturday, Sunday... We're going to probably get the Spain game. Um, and yeah, that, that'll be when we will know whether Switzerland go through to the semifinals uh, or will it be or will it be Switzerland? But I, I do have to say for Granit Xhaka, he played incredibly well today. And you know what? You have to give him his credit. Uh, some of the, the balls that he played today... I thought were really, really uh, good. Um, his, his playmaker ability was on par with Pogba. I mean, him and Pogba, for me, were the joint stars of the show, um, just in their, in their midfield. For me, I, I thought the Swiss had an overall better game. And even the Swiss, in, in the game, they had a penalty that was saved by Lloris. And you have to say that if that had gone in, to get this game would have been over a long time. So the Swiss probably deserved to win it based on on everything. The, the French didn't show up. Um, and it took half time for Deschamps to make changes. And to uh, kind of galvanize everyone. But it really took that Swiss penalty for them to kind of switch on. Um, and it's unfortunate because I think that there was an opportunity for them to, to win this game. And... They just didn't, uh, and it's uh, it's a real shame. Uh, it's a real shame uh, because I am a fan fan of a lot of those French players, uh, and now we have to contend with Switzerland. And you just have to say that you could probably see a situation whereby they're going to say Switzerland could get to the end. I don't think so, but I will say this: if Granit Xhaka keeps playing to the way that he is. 
who knows anything could happen. But when it comes to Arsenal and Granit Xhaka, I think this game is a perfect reason why Arsenal should be resolved. Stick with the price tag that they originally was going to get for, that they want for Granit Xhaka and get it. Because Granit Xhaka's value for me has gone up. It's gone up. I know people on Twitter have been talking about it. this added on another 20 mil. I don't go that far. But definitely the amount that, that Arsenal are asking for, 20 mil for Granite Xhaka, it's a bargain. To be honest, we should probably look him closer to 25 to 30 mil um, based on the way how Granite Xhaka has played in this game. So you know what? You know I'm not going to be bitter towards Granite Xhaka. you got to give credit where credit is due. He played a really good game. Switzerland are through to the next stage. And Granite Xhaka was a massive part on that. I think he got about two, two assists um, in the game uh, as well. Just... Really good play for, from Granite Jacker, and you know, um, I'm not his fan, and I know a lot of people who are going to be watching this video uh, are not going to be fans of his, um, particularly one person who I, I know is watching, if he's not watching the game, he's going to watch the highlights, and I know he wants to say F Jacker, but Apollo, you can't, like, great game from him. So for me, well done to Jacker. It means that the Granite Jacker deal will probably be holed off in terms of his plans to go to Roma. Arsenal's transfer business are going to stagnate a bit. But you know what? Great for an Arsenal player to get to the next round. At least currently still an Arsenal player. But let's see what really happens. On to the next game. And the next game will be tomorrow against Germany. England, Germany. And I haven't done a preview for it. Because I think I've made my feelings quite clear. If Southgate doesn't start Saka, we're not going to win. England will not win. And I will continue along that mantra. I will check out the game. If I don't see Saka playing, I might just switch off. I might not even be bothered. Nah, that probably won't happen. I'll probably just watch it just for the sheer interest. But you got to start Saka. But let's see what happens. we got a good old 24 hours and then... I'll probably do something that's if Saka starts. If Saka doesn't play, I'm probably not going to do a video. I'm just letting you guys know. But until then, I will see you all on my next video, which will be real soon. At the very least, check out some of the links in the description. You could check out some of my other content, particularly on the Euros.